We're going to take a look at how to use parameters and arguments in a function. Down here I've got a basic function. This is a shell of a function with the name uh, param args. And you would declare a parameter in between the open and closing parentheses of the function. Down here I've got the function call and that's where you would provide the argument which would be for the most part a value. I'm going to go to my function here. I'm going to go ahead and create a parameter x. So now my function has one parameter x. You can have multiple parameters pretty much as many as you'd like. So I could say x, y, z. And then down here in the function caller I'm going to go ahead and provide a value. I'll do the number one for now. So that now what happens is the argument will get passed into the parameter x so that now x has the value one and then it can be used inside of the function to run whatever code um, and that code can use those values. So I'm going to add into my function a document dot write and then I'll write out or print to the screen the value of X. So I'm going to select run and I see up here that it's one because the argument that I passed to it is one. And now I can use that value inside of my function. So I can add a few more parameters. I'm going to say x, y, z. And down here, I'm going to put in the arguments for those parameters. One, two, three. So that right here, inside of my document.write, I can use for those parameters. And I'll say x, y, so we'll say x plus y. And then plus z. That should give me six there. So I'm going to run this. Let's make sure we get that z in place. Okay, and then run it. And then I've got six. So then what happens if an argument is not supplied? So say uh, this number three down here, that third argument is missing, although we have three parameters. But what will happen is JavaScript will automatically assign the value undefined to that missing argument. So right now, what it's looking like is we have the argument with the value one, argument two there, uh, for the y parameter has the value of 2, and then 3 is now this. So when you don't set a argument for the parameter, it's going to default to undefined. And so now undefined is undefined up here because it's being assigned to the parameter z. I've got undefined. So now this looks like undefined. If I run that, it'll give me NAN, which is not a number. So to just kind of show that without these in place, I'm going to go ahead and return that. Turn that back to the Z, and I'm just going to leave this third one out. So I'm going to run it. And it gives me NAN. NAN is not a number. That's what it stands for. And so, like we saw just a moment ago, undefined takes its place. So now it's trying to add X plus Y plus undefined. The value undefined is not a number. I can return this here to the Z. And then 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a default argument for moments like this where an argument is not provided for the parameter. So right now it's shooting off to Z undefined for that missing third argument. And I'm going to go inside my function. And I'm going to say if I'll say z equals equals equals. And then I'll say undefined. Then make z equal to 3. So that now, if the argument is not defined for the parameter, in this case parameter z, it will default to the value 3 instead of undefined. When I run this, I now get the number 6 because now I set a default value and so it's looking like 1, 2, 3. Okay, so you don't have to set it, uh, that third argument, and it'll automatically assign it to a B3. So it'll default to the number three that we set. Something to be aware of, you're gonna run into a similar issue uh, like we saw a moment ago with NAN, not a number. If this parameter, Z, this is known as a default parameter because we set it right here, we set a default for it. So if I move that z, known as a default parameter, to the front or somewhere in the middle here, we're going to get NAN again. Let me see what that looks like. So I'm going to put here instead now z, and I'll put x, y. So my default parameter is z, that's the one that we created that default value for or argument for. x, y now are known as non-default parameters. Those have to be set, which is looking like a set down here. But when I run this, so I'm going to run that now, it gives me NAN, not a number. Here's what's going on. So now argument with the value of 1 belongs to z. The value and argument the 2 here that belongs to x parameter. This third one, y. We haven't created a default value for it. We've created one for z. So as far as this entire operation is concerned, y is undefined. This one down here just replaced the default value that z had, which is 3, to 1. That default value kicks in when there isn't an argument provided. In this case, there is one provided. 